In today's video, we're going to be looking at calculating the empirical formulae of a compound. So let's just remind ourselves quickly of what that actually means. So the empirical formulae is the simplest ratio of atoms of each element present in a compound. And just to make that really clear what that actually means, we need to look at the molecular formula at the same time. Because although they sound very similar, and indeed they are very similar, they have slightly different definitions. So the molecular formula is the actual number of atoms of each element present in a compound. So let's take propene as our example here. So looking at its molecular formula, what is the actual number of atoms of each element present in propene? Well, we know it contains three carbon atoms. It obeys the general formula CnH2n, which is why its formula is C3H6. That is its molecular formula. However, if we look back at our definition of an empirical formula, we're looking for the simplest ratio. So basically, we want to cancel this down. Now we can see by looking at the molecular formula of propene, that 3 goes into it, so we want to cancel by 3, means we'd have CH2, and that is our empirical formulae, and that's actually what we're going to be looking at calculating now. So, in question 1, a compound can contains 40% carbon, 6.73% hydrogen, and 53.2% oxygen by mass, determine the empirical formulae. And we know if you've been following me from GCSE, IGCSE, I like to use a table format for my mole calculations. So first of all, start by listing your elements. So we've got carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Make a table, and you want to write mass, MR, and number of moles down the left-hand side. So the mass we've been given in the question, although it says all the masses in percentages, it doesn't matter because effectively they're all ratios. So you could have 40 grams of carbon, and that would still be 6.73 grams of hydrogen, which is why we're allowed to write down the numbers exactly as they are. Then use your periodic table to look at their atomic masses. You'll see that carbon has a mass of 12.01, hydrogen has a mass of 1.01, oxygen has a mass of 16 exactly. Now using this formula triangle, which hopefully you'll be very familiar with, we have mass at the top, MR, and number of moles at the bottom. So if we cover the one we're after, which is number of moles, you can see that that is given by mass divided by MR. So when we look at the third row of our table, that's the exact calculation we're going to be doing. So first of all, for carbon, divide 40 by 12.01 to get 3.33. To get the number of moles of hydrogen, do 6.73 divided by 1.01 to get 6.66. And lastly, for oxygen, do 53.27 divided by 16 to get 3.33. And now at this point, you want to have a look at those three numbers and then choose the smallest one and divide all the values by the smallest number. And as we can see, that will be 3.3. So we're dividing every single value by 3.33 to get our ratio of 1 to 2 to 1. Now don't forget to answer the question. We're looking for a formula, so we have a final formula, which is CH2O. So slightly more complicated example in question 2, but it st still remains similar, the methods you need to use. So magnesium ribbon, 10 centimetres long, is placed in a crucible and its mass recorded. The crucible is heated strongly and air is allowed to enter. After cooling, the crucible and its lid and contents are reweighed. So let's make sure we're clear of what's happened here. Because we've got magnesium and it's being burnt in air, we know that we're going to be producing magnesium oxide. And indeed, that's the formula we're after. But we need these results given in blue to help us work that out. So we have the mass of the crucible and the lid, which is 30.911 grams. We have the mass of crucible plus lid plus magnesium, which is 31.037 grams. And lastly, the same, but with magnesium oxide which is 31.106 grams. So 
what we need is to find the masses of magnesium and oxygen. It's nice and easy to find the mass of magnesium. You simply need to take these numbers away from each other. So do 31.037 grams, take away 30.911 grams, and you'll get a magnesium mass, which is 0.126 grams. Next up, we want the mass of oxygen. Let's number them one, two, and three. So two and three are exactly the same, apart from we also have oxygen in number three, which is why you just want to take two away from three in order to work out the mass of oxygen. So do 31.106 take away 31.037 to get a mass of oxygen, which is 0 0.069. And now we're ready to do our empirical formula calculation. So as always, start with your elements. We've got magnesium and oxygen. Here's our table as before. So our masses we've just worked out for magnesium is 0 0.126 grams. Oxygen is 0 0.069 grams using your periodic table to look up their atomic mass you can see that for magnesium that's 24.31 for oxygen that's 16.00 to work out the number of moles we do mass divided by mr and you get a number of moles for magnesium of 5.2 times 10 to the minus 3 for oxygen that is 4.3 times 10 to the minus 3 this is slightly more difficult but look for the smallest number it is this one so we divide both numbers by that smallest number. To get obviously a 1 on the right hand side. And 1.2 on the left hand side. Now because this is A level IB, they're not necessarily going to be nice easy numbers like they were at GCSE. So we need to make both of these whole numbers. And the way you do that is you have a look and you see the point, the 1.2 is the problem. So how would you make that a whole number? Well, you need to multiply it by 5 to get rid of that 2. So multiply, so multiply both sides by 5 to get 6 versus 5. And that is your final answer. So the formula is Mg6O5. In question 3, we're going to be bringing in molecular formula calculations, which is good because you need to look at a variety of questions. But as you can see from the beginning of the question, it's still a very ordinary empirical formula question. So aspirin contains 60% carbon, 4.48% hydrogen and 35.52% oxygen. It has a molar mass of 180.17 grams per mole. Determine the empirical and molecular formula of aspirin. Beginning with carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, therefore at the top, we have our mass, MR, number of moles going down the left-hand side, and as always, even though it's a percent, we can steal those percentages as our masses, so I'm just copying them down from the question. Use your periodic table to look up the masses of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So that's 12.01 for carbon. 1.01 for hydrogen and 16.00 for oxygen. To calculate the number of moles, we do mass divided by MR to get 4.996 moles of carbon, 4.48 moles of hydrogen, and 2.220 moles of oxygen. So 2.220 is obviously the smallest number. So let's divide all of those numbers by 2.220 to get 2.25 as your ratio to 2.00 to 1. Now we have issues here because this isn't a whole number and it's not close enough that we can actually just round. So we need to multiply everything by 4 to get rid of that 0.25. And you get 9, 8 and 4. So empirical formulae for aspirin is C9H8O4. However, we're not actually done with the question because we need to look at the molecular formula, which I promise is straightforward. All you have to do here is get this empirical formula that you've just calculated and work out its mass and then compare it to the mass given in the question as being the molar mass. So let's do that now. So we've got C9H8O4. So what is its MR? Well, it's 9 times 12.01 plus... 8 times 1.01 .01 plus 4 times 16 
and you get a value which is 180.17. And now compare the two values. You've got that value you've just calculated. You've got 180.17 from your question. They're the same value, which means that in the case of aspirin, its molecular formula and empirical formula here is the same. So molecular formula is C9H8O4. Do notice, let's say for argument's sake, that the molar mass had said 360. Well, obviously, when you compared your mass that you calculated, it would have been half that given in the question. So your molecular formula this time would just be two times everything. So it would be C18H16O8.